obviously lots of people like to blame airspeed for the stall, yeah? Yep. So from straight and level, I'll make sure I've got it set up. I'm simply going to close the throttle. Let's just see what the airplane does. I've reduced the thrust. The attitude is lowering all by itself. The airplane is just simply entering a glide descent. And if I leave it alone, it'll just continue to descend. But that's never going to stall. The next one I wanted to have a look at was crossing the controls. Yep. I won't be using any elevator. I'm just going to cross the controls and see what happens, yeah? Okay. Now I'm just smoothly going to apply right rudder, left aileron. I've now got full right rudder on. I've got no elevator on. And you see the controls are well and truly crossed up. And I've just entered a descent. I'm just going to release the column, centralise the rudder, and look, once again, the aeroplane just wants to restore itself. Some people think side-slipping will cause you to stall. Well, we did that, didn't we? We had, yeah, we, did uh, we, went into, we went into a full deflection slip. Okay, now here I'm sitting there at very low power, low airspeed, and I'm just going to apply full rudder and see, see what that does. Okay, there's full left rudder. Have a look. It's never going to stall in a billion years, is it? OK, I'll just centralise now. Many people believe that bank can cause a stall risk. Let me try an extremely steep turn, no elevator, right. to see if that will cause the aerofoil to stall. Some people believe that bank can increase G. In other words, load factor. Load factor and G have both been the same thing. But the only control that could cause a load factor or G is the elevator. I'm going to pitch up a little, apply full power, and now I'm going to do a very steep turn. There we go, Jono, this is a 360 degree bank turn. Quite a steep turn. That's the steepest turn I can do. Okay. So quite clearly there was no stall because there was no elevator. If bank could make a stall, what I just did then would be impossible. Nearly every pilot's been to an air show and seen an aeroplane roll. Why then, I wonder, do they think that bank can cause a stall? What about the use of the trim, the elevator trim? Well, there indeed, again, we're using the elevator, aren't we? Yeah. What about flaps? OK, from normal straight and level. I'm going to start taking some flaps. It's 10 degrees. 20, you see I'm getting a quite a pitch up there. I'm not touching the elevator. And I take some, even some more, you can hear the stall warning go, but look, the aeroplane just, it just rides itself. I'm, okay, I've now got full flap on. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't touched the control column. People might say, oh, well, didn't you just stall then? It wasn't sustained. Look, there it goes again. See, I'm oscillating now. I've got 40 of flap. And because of our stability in pitch, it's just wanting to ride itself. Notice the oscillations are getting smaller. I'm not touching the column. The only way that I could cause that to stay stalled would be if I kept moving the column back towards me. Yeah, so that didn't work either. I'm going to fly a little wing over. Wing over is basically a climbing and descending turn. I'm going to use a very high entry attitude, yep. about probably 60 or 70 degrees above the horizon. Okay. I'm going to use about 90 degrees of bank at the top of the wing over. Okay. I'm going to allow the aeroplane to, to get out of balance, Okay. Uh, aerodynamic balance in yaw, and I'm going to get the airspeed pretty much off the clock. We won't be using the elevator. Okay. Let's see what that does. Remember, people want to blame airspeed, attitude, and bank. So, okay, up we go. There's full power. Notice the attitude is very high. There's the bank. Air speed's off the clock. And it just recovered itself. I'll close the throttle and gradually lift myself out of the dive. And back into a climb and uh, our stability and pitch. Let's leave it alone. Our stability and pitch will satisfyingly bring us back Simples. to where we want it to be. In every case, every scenario here, we're not using the elevator. That's the, that was the question I asked. Is it possible yep. to stall? And remember, 
I'm talking about a sustained stall. Yeah. One that's going to do us harm yeah. without using the elevator. But the other questions that people ask regarding turbulence, can turbulence cause a stall? Yep. Well, yes, if the wind suddenly comes at the aerofoil from below, then of course the angle of attack, which is the angle between a cord line and the relative airflow, will be high. But it won't be sustained. You're just going to fly through that. It's transient. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's important to say that we're, we're conscious of this, but there are a couple of situations that are transient. You won't have a sustained stall. It sure. won't cause you harm. A sustained stall was not possible without the use of the elevator. We'll be trying the same kinds of exercises in a variety of other aeroplanes, including general aviation singles, twins, and some warbirds.